All right, this exercise is the sideline 90-90 breathing exercise. The whole goal of this exercise is to get your hips and pelvis underneath your upper diaphragm and to start introducing proper breathing mechanics. Okay, so a pillow or a couple pads for your, for your head, a yoga block in between, or a pillow in between your knees for some support, and then you just need to get to a wall. So you're gonna lay on your side. The key here is making sure that our knees and hips are at 90 degrees. So 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hip. We're gonna be laying down toes. Make sure when we get our foot contact, we got our heels in contact with the wall. We have our toes facing forward. Again, it's really easy for us to want to rotate our feet. So make sure everything is nice and square. The yoga block is gonna go right in between for some support so you don't feel too many muscles working in your hip. Okay, you don't have to squeeze the yoga block, it's just there for support. Okay, toes are forward. Now, your starting position is really important, okay? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the tuck position of getting our pelvis underneath, okay? So if you pretend that you were Jennifer Lopez, as we say here at Elevated, with arching your low back, okay, that's a very extended position, that's what we don't want. What we want is if you feel that arch, I want you to do the opposite and tuck underneath. Okay, if you pull your belt buckle up and you get that tuck with your heel contact, you should feel your hamstrings and glutes engage right away. Okay, it's a small, it's, it's a small activation, you're, you know, so keep that in mind, you're not gonna feel them on fire, but you should definitely feel them engage from the hamstrings and the glutes. Okay, if you got heel contact, you got your tuck, you got your engagement back here, you're ready to do the breathing component. Now, this top arm is gonna be right here in front, Okay, make sure you got your tuck. Don't lose the tuck. We're gonna start with our breathing. You're gonna do a nice, slow exhale. Okay, as you exhale, you're gonna feel a lot of tension and compression in your, in your core. You're gonna feel more tucking, more hamstrings, and a lot of ab tension. When you get to the bottom of your exhale, I want you to hold on to that ab tension you feel, and then you're gonna give yourself a nice big inhale. Let the air go through your chest. Expand your body as much as you can. Okay, so big inhale through the nose. Holding that tuck, and then a nice slow exhale holding the tuck. Again, you're gonna feel all this ab tension start to build, hold on to it, and then another big inhale. The better you get at holding that ab tension and inhaling at the same time, you're gonna feel air going through your chest, out to the sides, maybe even in the back. The most important thing is that you hold that tuck the entire time. Okay, this is the 90-90 sideline breathing drill. Give it a shot. 